This part of the video tutorial talks about how to edit your movie, specifically how to add text, special effects, sounds, and transitions to your video footage. You're going to start by clicking on the scissors icon in the top left corner of your screen. That takes you to the create section of the software where the library will automatically open so that you can drag the still images or video clips that you want to work with down onto your storyboard at the bottom part of your screen. Here I've dragged down one video clip and now I'm going to use the arrow in my library to go to a different section of the library and grab a still image that came as part of the clip media with the software. So now I've got two items in my storyboard, a video clip and a still image. I'm going to use drag and drop to rearrange those two so that the still image comes first because that's going to become my title for my movie. The odd thing about the Movie Creator software is that your storyboard is not timeline based. Notice that the still image, which takes about one second, and the video clip, which runs for about 10 seconds, both take up the same amount of space in the storyboard. They each inhabit one box of the storyboard. The buttons down here at the bottom, the double arrows that go forward and backward, are how you move around within a video clip object to get to the specific frame that you want to work with. And we'll talk more about that later. First I'm going to add some text. Again, I want to make a title for my movie, so I'm going to go to the right side of my screen and click on the text tool, which opens up these set of tools. I'm going to use the plus sign to add a text box to my screen and type in my dog for the title of my movie. Now I'm going to click on the special effects button. That's the second button on the right to, no to open up my special effects tools. And I'm going to drag and drop the thought bubble special effect onto my screen. Notice the green box means that I can edit that special effect. I'm going to use the bottom right corner of the box to resize that thought bubble so it doesn't cover up my dog's head. And I'm going to go down to the bottom and step through the indiv individual frames of my video clip to start the special effect later in the video clip. I want to see my dog's head first for a few frames and then have the thought bubble appear. I'm going to go to my trimmer button to edit out the last few frames of this video clip, I want to end with the dog looking at me and later on in my video footage he looks down at the floor. So I'm going to move that red slider to the left to edit out where he looks down at the floor. Now I'm ready to add my sound. So I click on the third button on the right. That opens up the sound tools. I can click on the microphone to record my own sounds or narration. I can click on the green buttons to add clip sound effects. The blue buttons will add music. I can import narration, sound effects, or music from outside programs as well. I'm going to drag and drop two sounds onto my title slide. I'm going to add a dog sound effect that came with the program and a narration that I recorded using the built-in microphone and the camera. Last, I'm going to add a tradition, a transition between the two parts of my movie. If I click on that black and white box in between my two objects in my storyboard, it will pop up a list of transitions that I can use. I'm done for today, so I'm going to click on the disk icon at the bottom of my screen underneath my storyboard, type in a name from my storyboard, and click on the green check mark. My storyboard is now saved. I can exit the program and come back to work on my movie later.